Hey there, I'm Candace, and I'm a worship leader and musician. And one thing that I'm passionate about is the way that worship leaders prepare and choose music for the congregation to sing and worship. It might sound like a weird thing to be passionate about, but honestly, I've been in too many worship services where the worship leader, the singers, and the musicians were completely engaged in the music while the congregation just stood there and stared. They didn't sing, they didn't move a muscle, they were totally disengaged. I've seen groups of people sing with more enthusiasm in their cars, at parties, at ball games, and at concerts than they do in worship. And I've wondered, why is that? Well, I'm sure that there are a lot of reasons, but for me, helping people sing in worship starts with the way that worship leaders choose songs for their congregation. When it comes to choosing songs for worship, I think four key elements are important. The resources that you have, the lyrics of the song, the music, and also where the song fits in worship. So hopefully these four practical steps will help you the next time you sit down and choose music for worship. First, have good resources. There are so many quality resources online and there are a lot to choose from, but a couple of my favorites are praisecharts.com and songselect.com. And I know it sounds a bit outdated, but I always keep a hymnal handy. Second, pay attention to the lyrics of the song. Are they grounded in scripture? Do you believe what they say and will your church believe what they say? Third, you have to pay attention to the music. This is so important because most people in your congregation or youth group, they are not professional musicians or singers. They can't sing songs with complicated melodies and rhythms, and they can't sing songs that are too high or too low for them. So you should look carefully for melodies that are catchy, but simple enough for people to sing. Obviously, you have to sing songs that are in a good range for your voice, but you have to choose songs that are a good range for your congregation's voices as well. You also have to make sure that you and your worship team can actually learn and play the song. If you can't make the music work, then you can't expect your congregation to sing along with you. Finally, pay attention to what the song does in worship. Is the song being sung to God or to one another? Is it a song that gives thanks to God? Is it a song about living in community with other Christians? Knowing what the song does will help you to place it in worship and it will help you introduce it to your congregation. As I'm sure you know, there's a lot of bad worship music out there, but there's a lot of great worship music too. So the next time you have to choose music for worship, take your time and be thoughtful. You have a great responsibility and privilege of leading your congregation in worship, so ask God to help you make wise decisions. And finally, don't settle for anything less than the very best lyrics and music you can find.